Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be installing the one and only infamous Diablo. Where are we going to install it? We're going to install it on my Pentium Windows 95 machine. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and welcome to hell. Okay, so today we're going to be installing this game right on my old Pentium machine. This is a Gateway 2000 machine. And let me show you a little bit about what it is right here. So it's a Pentium 200 megahertz, 64 megabytes of RAM. It's got 7.43 gigabytes of hard drive space, which is incredible. Um, it's got a 40 speed CD-ROM, and a Creative Lab Sound Blaster AWE32. I also have both kinds of floppy drives, so floppy and diskette, Colorado backup drive, and guess what? This thing actually has a USB 1.0 port on it, so let me go ahead and fit that right there. Cool, so we're going to go ahead and insert the disc and get going right away so diablo the original diablo is a game that i'm a big fan of oh i've got actually the piano up right here Let me actually crank up. <laughs> awesome i always love that <laughs> So, um, the installer, when you pop it in, it pops up, auto plays, and it gives you that really cool ominous music and evil laugh. So it gives you the ability to install and play Diablo, install Spawned Diablo. Now essentially, Spawned Diablo is like a really light edition of Diablo, it doesn't you know, it's like basically you're passing the game off to a friend, like a shareware version. You get a few minutes of the game and whatnot. Well, you know, we're going to go ahead and install and play Diablo, but let's see what the view blizzard demo is. Cause we have that, we have test your PC, sign up for the internet. Do, are we going to sign up for the internet today? Maybe, or we can install DirectX 3.0. Um, I think we have DirectX 3.0 already on here. So let's go ahead and sign up for the internet. Oh, so we can do uh, install Prime Net services for the internet, install Earthlink network, AT&T World Net service. Uh, no, we're not going to do any of those today, but all right, let's do test your PC. See what that does. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so it looked at the PC specs. Um, it's saying for Diablo version 1.0, which is this is, saying does it meet Windows 95 or NT 4.0? Yes, has Windows 95. Does it have at least a Pentium 60 megahertz CPU? Yes, it does. 300 kps CD speed. We have a 758, apparently. I didn't know that. Um, again, we, it has a CD-ROM drive, at least eight megabytes of RAM, six, uh, we have 64. Um, and then if you want to do multiplayer, you gotta have double the RAM. And then of course you need at least 10 megabytes. Yes. Yes. 10 megabytes of hard drive space. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got plenty. We've got plenty. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, direct draw version 2.0 yes and direct sound cool so before we even install it it's telling us we should be able to play this game which is perfect i love that nothing worse than trying to install a game you install it and it just doesn't work what's the blizzard demo Thank <laughs> you. 
So what's currently playing is it's playing with uh, some of the Blizzard games at the time. It's playing uh, previews for those, of course, to make you want to buy those games. Like they had the Warcraft Battle Chest. Um, you have this game right here, which I'm assuming is Starcraft. Yep. Kind of figured it was StarCraft. Oh, loading from the disc. Loading from the CD. Yep, there we go. Stuttered there for a second. Cool. Alright, so that was the Blizzard demo. It showed us Warcraft Battle Chest and preview for StarCraft. Of course, no game footage. We're going to go ahead and hit install and play Diablo. All right, where we're we going to put it? We're going to put it in C. I like to put things in C games, you know, especially in the older hard drives, the older computers that didn't have, you know, the specific type of folders that, you know, you had, you know, you had program files and stuff, but I like to you used to like to put games under games category. So we're going to do C. I just typed that in. Okay. And now let's go ahead and wait for it to install. Now we got the intro for Diablo. Yeah, and uh, the installation is mainly for some of some of the game files, but also for the save files as well. You have to save your progress, so yeah, it's got to put it somewhere, right? Gotta love that Diablo screen. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna hold off that menu music. Oh man, that was classic. <laughs> that menu music is just amazing i love it everything about this game is fantastic i love i love the original diablo so the original diablo was actually it was the first one that i played um and i remember getting a burn copy of it back when it was fairly new <laughs> which is kind of funny because burn cds weren't really super huge at that time you know they were still pretty expensive but I remember getting one. But anyways, you got single player, you have multiplayer. Of course, you can play, replay the intro, credits, and whatnot. Single player. 
this is where you can choose your class. So we zoom in here. So we've got warrior. That warrior class where you can you start off with level one, you've got strength of 30. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Let me actually see is there a way to boost this up a little bit? No. Not yet. I have to boost the, the whole screen. Um, it's funny because it's recording it pretty bright. But it's not actually showing as bright on the screen. That's okay. So a single player. I'll just walk you through what it says. So level one, he's starting off. It looks a little bit clear for yeah yeah it's a little bit clearer here and ignore the um ignore that that green boundary on the right hand side but you have level one you start off with either warrior rogue or sorcerer and you have different different stats you know different strength magic dexterity vitality rating so this is very basic there was also there was also a uh, Hellfire expansion pack that uh, added another class as well, but you know we're just going to do the main Diablo version one for today. So we got warrior, rogue, or sorcerer. Let's do warrior. That's kind of my my thing. So I like to start out with the warrior class. But I have to say. I have to say, when the when that that village music hits, oh, it's so good. That's, sometimes I find that maybe maybe it's just due to age of the monitor, but CRT monitors just aren't as bright. Maybe that's just me misremembering them, but or due to age. But so yeah, one of the things I really do like about the original Diablo is you know it's just the immersion. You've got the the great music. You've got the different people that you can talk to, and they've got voice lines. I mean, for mid '90s, it was pretty good. Pretty good, I have to admit. It was not not a bad, <laughs> not a bad thing. Uh, Kane the Elder. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. And you can talk, and depending on which, you know, what missions you have going on, different things will happen. The cathedral was desecrated, while most everyone else was fleeing. She had a small hut constructed at the edge. Let's turn it down a little bit. So Kane can do a couple things for you. Of course, you've got you know the blacksmith. Oh, can you can buy items, you know, depending on how much gold you want to spend. You repair items, sell things like that. You go to inventory, and this inventory, man, <laughs> that's what you got. You got to play with. You can you can move things out around. You got you know single slot stuff, multi slot items, and that's it. You could not expand this that I remember. You could not expand. So you get loot. Oh man, yep. You just gotta get portals back back to town so you can sell stuff. You got the tavern owner. You might be changed since you lived here, my friend. Mm. All was peaceful until the dark riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or all dragged away to become slaves. Or worse, 
The church in the edge of town is being desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The dark rituals. Human, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and say what you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. All right, the beginning of the first quest is follow the path to the church. Follow the path to the church. Now, honestly, if you haven't played the original Diablo, go and play it. I think it's really great. It's not as... It doesn't have as much flair and... Oops, I'm kind of going off path here. Um, probably not considered the best one. I mean, obviously, a lot of people love Diablo 2. Diablo 2 seems to be one of the better ones that everybody loves. I didn't really play it until later because Diablo 1 was my thing for a while. Oh. Now we've got the church. The cathedral. A lot of this is loading right from the CD. It didn't install a whole lot onto the hard drive. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. That's what he says. So this is the first level. And then you can bring up the map, which will bring you up a mini-map of everything that you've discovered right on top and overlaying the regular map. It's kind of useful. Oh, there's my first guy right there. He dropped a cape. Cool. Yeah, again, very dark, very ominous. I, I think there's a, f a little bit of randomization, if I remember correctly. Oh, here's a sarco sarcophagus. Open it up. Sometimes you'll have skeletons come out. Sometimes you'll have items pop out. Oh, and then potion of mana. So you can highlight. You can just kind of... Oh, there we go. There's a door. Closed door. I'm going to open it. Opens it up to here, and there might be some bad stuff behind it. Oh, yeah, there's definitely is. Oh, oh. Hack and slash, hack and slash. It's still only level one. Dropped gold. I also dropped. Oh. I keep an eye on my health. These guys are pretty, uh, not tight. Not, not tough. Money. More money. Right. Oh, there we go. Chest. This guy is a little zombie. Basic zombie. Yeah, they don't want to overwhelm you right in the beginning. Again, this is default everything. This is stock Diablo 1. It starts you off with a spooky environment so you can. Kind of get your bearings a little bit. In this isometric style game, so the top-down style game, very similar to what you would have had with like Fallout, Fallout One and Two, background time. So very, uh, very popular. It became a very popular um, style of camera for action games like this, action and RPG. There were quite a few. There's another room. Go inside there. Is it Book of Healing? Ooh. So let me open up my inventory and see what I've got. Ooh, I've got a cape. That's a pretty cool cape. Let me see if I can wear it. Yep. Book of Healing. Required 17 magic. I can't use this. I can't use this yet. So I can I can use it. Um, but let me see what my character is right here. I'm blocking my whole screen. So you see this? I got my inventory up and I got my character screen up. It hasn't paused the game. <laughs> um, so I've got 10 magic and I can use this when I've got 17 magic. So hopefully I can hold on to it until then. But you've got different slots here. So I got two different types of potion of healing and potion of mana. Basic, basic stuff. Basic stuff. 
creepy. I love the I love the music. It's atmospheric. So that was Diablo for the PC. Yeah, the original Diablo. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, enjoyed seeing the the process of installing it and seeing what the main menu was. And and, and if you haven't explored Diablo, there's a few places you can get it. I believe you can get it on GOG.com. And, you know, you can, of course, get Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 and whatnot, uh, the, the newer releases. But Diablo is where it started. That's where I got sucked in to, to play this style of game. And honestly, I think you would enjoy it. If you kind of, you know, put yourself in that mid-90s shoes of this is brand new, then I think you'll, you'll have a good time on doing it. Is it going to be... You know have a whole lot of different mechanics and stuff that will rival the new diablo no it won't um but definitely i highly recommend playing the original diablo at least once in your life so thank you for sticking around and checking out installing diablo on windows 95 on my pentium machine gateway 200 pentium machine so thank you all let me know in the comments below, have you played the original Diablo before? Have you beaten the original Diablo before? Have you never played Diablo? Whether it's the newer ones or the old ones, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of it? What other games you want to see installed? And yeah, I appreciate you coming over. Thank you so much. Have a great day and game on.